Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to your daily uh, daily updates on Bitcoin. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure if there's enough to talk about, but just in general right now, I mean, they're, they're, we still have the same questions as yesterday, right? Uh, because yesterday we got some strong bullish momentum, or at least it was on, the, on, on Monday evening. But yesterday we were still at the top. Uh, of this, which I think is the range which we are in with Bitcoin here at uh, at forty three thousand two hundred fifty, all the way up to forty four thousand. So that's the that's the entire resistance. And what we said and what we talked about yesterday. Uh, and excuse me, but I, I slept weird, so my my neck is a little bit. Uh, I'm not I'm I'm not sure, but my uh, if if you, if you see my head moving weird, then that's the that's the cause. Um, but so yesterday we talked about whether it was possible for Bitcoin to potentially break out and rally higher, which uh, I mean, that, that would obviously be great for Christmas. Um, but, uh, but, but what I said is that I, I did not think it was most likely, because if, if you look at all the previous times when Bitcoin bre broke out, <clears throat> the volume was extremely high. Uh, now the volume is dropping. <laughs> it's actually down 20% from, from Tuesday, from yesterday morning till now. Uh, which is not great. I mean, that also, I mean, it, it does mean like illiquid markets make moves easier, right? Uh, so maybe it actually increases the chance of some sort of a breakout. But but because of that volume and then also because of the, the, the momentum that Bitcoin is showing right now, uh, which is not high. I mean, you can see this is over the last week. It's practically been flat for the last week. Um, it's just not looking great, or, or at least it's it's not looking bad either. But it, it's not looking ideal for a for a major bullish breakout here. Let me quickly reset my camera. Uh, it's not looking. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I see no reason at this moment why Bitcoin would break above this level and then rally up to the next price target at forty seven thousand and then potentially up to fifty thousand, right? Because that's the that's the the, the main level. I see no reason for that at this moment. I mean, yeah, 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 that's what I'm going to stick with. I mean, obviously, it's a possibility because the markets are bullish, right? And we're getting quite a lot of buzz around ETFs right now. Maybe we're getting one final push until the, uh, the, the ETFs approval, or at least the dates in which we think we, they will be approved. Um, we'll get a final push now. And then after the ETFs get approved, we'll, we'll get a bit of a drop, kind of a sell the news mo moment, right? So that's a possibility. But I would like to believe that we would see it in the technicals then. I would like to believe that we would see it in a volume. I would like to believe that we would see it in the, in the open interest or, or, or perpetual futures volume. And that's not the case. So I, I think this is a possibility. But for now, I think it's more likely also looking at uh, where some of the liquidity is. There's quite a lot of liquidity around 43,700. Um, we grabbed some of that on Monday already or, or Tuesday night. But there's still more up there. So I think it's likely that we'll, we'll get up there. But from there, uh, I expect us to find resistance. All right. So that from there, we'll drop back down to the support level, which provided some support uh, last night at 42,000. And then afterwards, down to this level right here at 40,500 again. That's what I think is most likely for now. If the, circum if, if the circumstances change over, over the course of today, I will try to do an update. Um in the middle of the day but for now given everything that we can see this is most likely there's some economic events maybe today as well and due to the low volume they could cause uh some some movement i mean we have existing home sales nah that's not really going to do anything tomorrow we have some bigger economic events but uh, as some of you know economic events really haven't made the market move in a while now uh, so yeah, that's my take on Bitcoin. Uh, if you want to uh, check out my premium or signal group, uh, links to that will be down in the description. That's up to you. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching and listening. Have a great day and bye.